Hey guys, and welcome back to Vagrant Story. In the previous episode, I got stuck at this dastardly puzzle, and another dastardly puzzle in the previous room. Uh, but after uh, fiddling around this puzzle for a couple of minutes, maybe 10, maybe 20, I was I'm grinding a block puzzle. Can you believe that, viewers? Alright, uh, so the trick is that these are actually two columns uh, each which means that I have the ability to push them in two different ways. So if this comes out... And this one advances on another track. I have two blocks to play with to assist me on getting the third block down. Right. I'll uh, need to push one of them back in. Now uh, let's just destroy this. Okay, so the trick is I'll need to get this block to remain on the top uh, this one goes up one further I only have space at the door to push this here do I have space? can I push this? nope one more further down Oh, actually, I didn't need two, uh, two columns after all. Oh, did I? Right, so this comes down. Here. Here. And I have access to push this all the way. Yeah. Now, if I don't... I unable to reach, I would feel really really stupid. It's a two door. So I think this may be the room where Sydney. um... Uh, the door has been locked. Okay, crap. Equip. This is definitely a beast. Range is awesome, awesome range, awesome range. Okay, let's cast a spell on you. Uh, sorcery. Minotaur Lord. Heracles, I guess, that would be the most effective spell right now since I have high accuracy and damage is going through the roof. To the legs this time. And that should be it for Minotaur Lord. Drop Titan's Ring. Uh, great. Elixir of Queens, more HP. Great. Uh, Shaman Heal. Heal up. And use the Elixir of Queen straight away. One. 
one pathetic HP. It must be, have been a really, really dry potion. Alright, uh, we have an item. Please be the silver key. Yes! Okay, we picked up the Frost Maiden, a Sonic Bullet, a Ghost Hound. Uh, okay, let's just pick up everything. We'll explore those later. This means I am free to open this door. Where are we now? Limestone quarry again. Ah, so we can uh, make our way there and unlock. Fantastic. Uh, equip. Sweet death, which is not really doing anything against these birds. Sorcery. Heracles. I'll kill you. Okay, you still cast silence on me anyway. I guess that can't be helped. I've done this ages ago. That should be one of them down, I hope. Nice. Snowfly drops. off with a cherry ronde I picked up a chain sleeve, so more forging is expected. Map wise, I need to head down that way, so we'll explore the one to the left first. Let the risk drop, 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 drop. That was pretty quick work. Contents of the chest has a bolt weapon. Fantastic. Elixir mages for more MP and a mana potion. Let's use that straight away. More magic, more power. Oh crap, 
Did I use the wrong one? Ah, oh, I'm sick. I wanted the elixir of mages. Okay, so I wasted the mana potion which refills all in my MP for one MP. Um, yeah. If you feel sick for me, leave a comment below. Right, I am guessing probably a boss connecting the two rooms. Oh no. One hit. Fantastic. Uh, item wise. Nope, okay. Unlocked with the silver key. Fantastic. Right. Uh, let us use our teleportation spells. Uh, let me save first. Saving is very important. After dealing with that dastardly puzzle. Which means we do have another puzzle to get to. So, uh, the one with the climbing one. It's another dastardly puzzle. Okay, so let us use magic, magic, to teleport. Oh, I haven't looked at the room that I want to go in. Oh, give me a moment, map. Uh, to the Temple of Kiltia. Temple of Kiltia. So I need to cast magic. To the What was the name of the road? Crap Okay, I need to pay attention <laughs> Give me a moment Map To the Temple of Kiltia It's called the Dark Coast Okay, I've got enough Magic Teleportation To the Dark Coast Requires 39 magic okay. it, uh, Impressive Okay, so let's head back across. Was there a problem here? I can't remember. How did I get across the previous time? Oh wait, no, this was the way, yes. Oops, my bad. Door has been locked. Warlock. Flame Sphere. Level 2. Let us cook us some phantom. Hey, give me a moment. I am suffering from some itchy eyes. And I am back. Alright, uh... Okay, let us have a bit of uh, invigorate. I guess agility is good at this point of time. Solid shock. Hmm! <laughs> 
Please die, please die. Somehow I survived that. Oh man. Uh. Okay, I guess it's not time to be stingy with our Vera bulbs. Enchanter, Enchanter... I should have done this first, instead of wasting my, spa my mana on uh, the Flame Sphere. Can I get a spell off? Yes, I need to heal very badly. Solid shock. Uh, evil fire. No wait, uh, that's me currently. So I need to generate some magic quickly. Sorcery. No wait. Enchanter. He is. Uh, I need earth. Uh, Aeroga. No. Soil fusion. Okay. Let me dodge this, please. Nice. Okay, uh, let's use another item. Yet another Vera Bulb. And this should allow me to destroy him. And I died. Okay, I need to not underestimate these guys. Uh. At least I saved. <laughs> so, didn't lose too much progress. And as a benefit, I got the two Vera Bulbs that I used back. Uh, strategy, strategies. Firstly, I'm in the wrong room, so let's teleport back quickly. To the Dark Coast. Let our magic restore. I am holding the right weapon, right? Item... Equip... Yes, I'm using the right weapon. It's not dealing enough damage as I would have liked, so... Um, okay. Chant myself with... Fire. Quick work. Grimoire Avalanche. Cool, you can get Grimoires off these guys. Cool. 
Right, quickly switch to soil fusion. And degenerate my opponent. So we'll lead off with a couple of breakouts. Uh, affinity as weapon. So now it's an earth affinity. So it should be dealing a bit more damage than I. Yep. 65% to the chest. Nice. One more time. So much easier now. So I guess I learned something through all those deaths. Learn your opponent's affinities and counter them well. Alright, let us go and open the other door. Other door. I've already solved this puzzle but it doesn't save my results here so Unfortunately, you have to watch me solve it again. Um, I need to... Wait, what do I need to do? Crap. I've forgotten how to solve this puzzle. I need it to... Yes, okay, I remember now. Three, two... Ah, I pressed the wrong way. Let me reset that. Three, two, uh, one. Slides forward, comes here. Is this how the puzzle was solved? No wait, this is this has to be wrong. I need it to come out here, right? So three Push this block this way, then this way, and this way. Yep. Allowing me to leap for freedom. Yeah. Okay, now with this in its natural state. Uh, okay, I will need to shift. Okay, I guess I work better with goal orientation, so. I will need to shift these blo uh, top block on a path all the way here. Okay, so I need these two blocks lined up. One. One. Okay, so if I moved it, one, two, slide here, three. Okay, let's see if it works. One, two, slide. Uh, 
Oh, I needed a slight one. Okay, okay. Mistake, mistake. Damn it. Okay, let me reset this quickly. And I have to do this again? Oh, man. Alright, I guess I'll call the video here and we'll, I'll solve this off screen and then when I'm about to complete the puzzle on the other end, we'll start resume recording and get the pro, uh, benefit from the fruits of my labor. Alright, so if you've been enjoying the series, please do like, comment and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thanks guys for watching. See you guys in the next video where I'll solve that bloody puzzle. And yeah. And so enjoy guys. And as usual, this is Gene signing out.